the Empress Lilandra Niramani and her royal consort. Your man speaks as if I am your pet. Hmm. Not an entirely displeasing thought. Hush now, beloved. You may bark later. <clears throat> your Majesty, I have known you since you were but a hatchling and wish only for your happiness. But given our war with the Kree and how it's divided even we Shia, is a royal wedding... Gladiator and his guard fill my ears with news of coming victory. Yes, but we have been trapped in so much change. Some yearn for the stable comfort of what is familiar, for sameness. Araki sugars his words, my sister. Your consort was born on the wrong side of the stars. He is Terran. Gentle sister, heed my throne. A throne that is bound to more than the whims of your heart. A union with the Terran would bind the Shi'ar into alliance with his inferior homeworld. I respect you speaking the quiet part out loud, Deathbird. So let's speak plainly. Your Empress and I decide alliances, as well as which world we call home. Chandelar is home. Our throne world. Of course, Lord Chancellor. I nearly Spoke meant... Spoke the quiet part out loud. Xavier would see his Milky Way ghetto become our new throne world. You are twisting my words. High Council, for the sake of the Empire, I must invoke the right of Emdasha. Oh. Oh. Terran, the right requires... A non-Shiar pass a test of loyalty in order to wed a royal. I finish that volume my second day here, Deathbird. Not any mere test, Terran. A challenge of my own choosing. Then choose. To ensure we are protected from your Terran ties, you must renounce Earth and erase all memory of your life there. <gasps> Charles is a formidable psychic. His mind will not be easily scrubbed. Luckily, we Shi'ar bow to a ruler of equal psychic power. Charles Xavier must purge all memories of Earth, and you, dear sister, must be the one to do it. 